Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to update and install the latest version of Windows 10. So this is going to be a pretty easy tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you would proceed to just left click and type into the start menu update. Best match should say check for updates. Left click on that to open up this new menu here or new screen. Underneath update status, you want to just left click on check for updates here. If there are any updates to be downloaded and installed at this point, it should go through and download and install them. Now, if you do not see anything in here, you're more than welcome if you think there's a bigger build or update that's been recently released. If we open up a web browser, it doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And you want to navigate over to google.com. Type in media creation tool. Hit enter. Best match should be from a Microsoft domain, so download a Windows 10 disk image. I'm going to left click on that. Now, you want to make sure you're getting this directly from Microsoft here, and you have two options, or at least the time of this recording. If you want to download the tool now, this button that says Create Windows 10 Installation Media, it will give you the option to update your latest version of Windows to the newest version of Windows. And the update up here, it says Update Now, this is just a new major release, so every six months Microsoft is releasing a new update it appears so every major update or what could be resembling a service pack update perhaps you could update to it by clicking on the update now button and if you want to download the complete Windows 10 installation media which is definitely going to be bigger you can select download tool now really a personal preference most people will probably be fine just left clicking on this update now button up at the top if it's still available when you guys watch this video but it's just a personal preference so I do have this brief tutorial was able to offer you guys a couple of different ways to update your version of Windows 10. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.